I am Kevin. I'm Achi. And I have built PCs before. Actually, many PCs before. And Achi has never built. Yeah, never. He's never, never, never built never, a PC never. before. And this is kind of a weird video for my channel because this is not usually what I do. Yes. I figured. I'm being forced to do it. She has no choice. Yes. I'm her boss now. <laughs> I thought that, that this would be a good video to shoot because Achi. Well, yeah. if you don't notice, this is not my bedroom. This is my office. This is our office, actually. And Achi is our new graphic designer. And she's gonna need a PC for her work. So I figured, why not make her assemble her own PC? PC. <laughs> so everything you see on this table right now, well, not everything. Her case is right here. But everything on this PC on this table right now is going to be her PC it's going to be running a Ryzen 5 1600 on the B350M Ashrock AB350M Pro 4 it's gonna be running a GTX 1050 Ti she's not gonna be like running crisis on, on this or anything but since we're an esports production company she's going to have to do some gaming on the side it's so nice working for an esports company we also have the usual led fans not rgb though uh one terabyte hard drive an ssd 16 gigs of ram and the usual uh 80 plus power supply bye 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 we're, we're shooting this in the, yes. in the middle of office hours not actually uh, not actually office hours but yeah this is the first time Achi is going to be building a PC and it's going to be her office PC. So yeah, let's start. <laughs> How do we start? Oh, for the Team Crispy people out there, I'm sorry this video is going to be in 1080p. But I will be shooting 4K video because I still have the A6300 here. So I'm going to be shooting like texture, texture footage. I don't know. We have scissors and we have... A set of screwdrivers. I don't know if I'm if we're going to be using the scissors a lot, but I think we're going to need a bigger set of screwdrivers. But I hope this is enough. So yeah, we're going we're going to start. Yes. Uh, first one is the motherboard and the <laughs> processor. Okay. Alright. Happy morning. Alright, open it up. Oh, I'll open this one. Really? Not like, really? Like, slice your finger. No. Okay. Take it out. Oh, don't remove this. Don't okay, remove okay, this. okay. <laughs> many parts, my god. So many parts. Oh, it touched the lens. <laughs> No, we're gonna need this. For? This is where you're going to put the motherboard on. While you're working on it. Yeah, put it on here. Okay. This is the motherboard. What you're going to do is you're going to have to put the processor here. This is where the processor goes. I am going to do my part. best to not touch what her no! doing and just guide her <laughs> over the people who are wondering what her case will be. This is the Thermaltake H15. It's a very small case. Can I touch this part or no? Uh, what to you're going part? to do is don't touch the pins okay. on the other side. So what you're going to do is you're going to have to lift this. This part? Yeah. That that latch. Uh, you pull it towards here. Then you lift this it up. This part? Yeah. Oh. yeah. And then you lift it up. Then you look for the small uh, triangle. Okay. Then you look for the triangle. Where, where the triangle is here. Yon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then, and then you're going to have to press this down and then push it back into the latch. 
to lock it into place. I'll just push it? Yeah. Push it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, now it's locked into place. Now you're going to have to put the CPU cooler onto the uh, on top of the okay. processor. With this? Yeah, you're, you're going to have to remove the plastic part. I didn't ask you to remove it because you shouldn't touch this part. Oh, okay. It's wet and uh, it's a thermal compound. It it helps transfer heat from the processor to the CPU cooler. Okay. Oh, you're going to have to remove this. Which one? This one? Okay. Yeah. We're going to use a screwdriver. Yeah. We're going to need the screwdriver and remove these uh, latches. Yeah. Use this. This one? Oh. Mm, I think it's too small. Too small? Try the bigger one. It's a flat head though. Kailangan na ng mas malaking screwdriver. They had screwdrivers! Yeah. <laughs> and I'm back! Yeah, screwdrivers now. So, use this bigger one. Going to have to remove everything. It's moving. Then you're going to have to remove these two. Yeah. Then you're going to put this on here. You have to align the screws with the sockets. Okay. Everything's aligned, then you have to uh, tighten everything in a cross pattern. So you start with this, then your second one will be this, third one here, and fourth one here. Alright. Alright, okay. that's on there. <laughs> That was kind of nerve-wracking. Yeah. Because I haven't worked with AM4 before. It rhymes. So the next step is you have to plug this in. This one. This powers the fan. Okay, so. So you have to find the CPU fan one header. This that one. one. Yeah. You have to line it up with the latches here. Okay. Should I just force it in? Yeah, just push it in. Oh! Okay. Mm. Yeah. Do it that way. So it doesn't touch the fan. Mm. Uh, I'm afraid to push it in. Is yeah. this the part? Yeah, that's, we... yeah that's, that's the latch. Uh. <laughs> oh, there it is. It's in! Yay! Okay. It's in! And then what? Next part is the RAM. We're going to use the Gale Super Luce. Luce? I don't no. know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce, to it. pronounce this. Yeah. Okay. Open it up. This and this we're going to use for later, so put it there. It's going to glow blue. Oops. <laughs> the way RAM is supposed to be installed is, if you're going to use this port, you're going to use the third port. If you use the second port with one stick, you're going to have to use the fourth, the, the fourth slot. Does so, it make a difference? Yes, it doesn't make a difference, but most probably you're going to have to use the second and fourth port because uh, if you put uh, a stick here in the first port, it might touch okay. the, uh, the CPU cooler. So, so it's just more practical to Yeah, 
First thing you have to do is you have to unlatch the, Which one? This one. What do you mean unlatch? Yeah, you have to push it away. So you open the port. Push it away? Yeah. I won't yeah. break something? Okay. No, you're not going to break something. For the fourth and... So for the second and fourth. So that's where you're going to put your wrap. Second one is you have to find the the what do you call this? The stopper? I don't know. The gap. Then you align that with your stick. You check. No, it, no, it goes the other way. Yeah. So yeah, you just put it. Maybe you should start with the second one. Put it that way. Then you push down. Push down on it until the latch locks into place. Oh, there. Ah. This is so weird. I'm used to having like people you giving me stuff. Think it's gonna snap if I push it. Are you? Why? Is it aligned? Yes. Is the gap aligned? It's oh. not aligned. Oh, oh. 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 it's oh. not aligned. I'm actually forcing it. Forcing it the wrong way. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. She's not gonna break it. I'm usually used to like people ah. giving me stuff and they have me just like assemble their PC, but this is the first time <laughs> I am oh. having someone like Me. Yeah. <laughs> someone like actually was never built a PC before. Yeah, this is actually the first time. Building I'm a PC the beside parts. me. Of the PC. So yeah, RAM I'm is sweating. installed. <laughs> You're sweating. I'm ah. actually sweating from watching watching her build mm. this PC. Oh. This is fine for now. Okay. We're going to so, get back to that. Okay. This is her case. This is the Thermaltake Versa H15. Yeah. That's a windowed side. Mm. She can see the lights, the pretty pretty lights inside her TV. So you're going to have to open this up. Oh, we're gonna use a screwdriver again? No, no screwdrivers. This has thumb screws. So okay. you just remove all the oh, four okay. screws here. Alright. Then the next thing you're going to have to do is remove the side panels. You remove this side first. There's a latch here. You pull it, then you Then, we are going to use this for later. Oopsie. Alright. Oh, people like seeing this. Wait now. For some reason, people like seeing plastic being peeled off from what? parts. What? You're going to peel off. This one? Yeah. Should I do it slow motion? Well, why not? I'm going to put like sexy music on here. <laughs> nah, there's nothing sexy about this. Oops. And then and the other one. And the other side. Is it here? Yeah. Okay. It's in there. It's What's funny is when we're building this. Wait. I'm using I'm using the 1080p footage, but here I'm, I'm shooting in 4K, just to show people you peeling off the plastic. Yeah. Oh, hear that sound. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Littering inside the office. This is your case. Oh. We have a preview here. This yeah, is the I camera, but we have a preview we here of what's being shown in the yes. camera because we're professional like that. <laughs> so this is your case. You should take this out. This one. And actually not a lot more, I guess. So this is her case. This is the Thermal Take Versa H15. And space for a CDR drive. Space for three hard drives, I believe. No, two hard drives and space for SSDs. 
we have one SSD for her and one hard drive. So we're going to have to prepare the motherboard first, actually. <laughs> Uh, this is what I don't like about these cases. These are these cases are very cheap. Well, they're not exactly like budget cheap, but they're good enough. But they're not apparently they're not good enough to be installing their motherboard standoffs like at the factory. They don't put the the standoffs there, so we're going to have to install the standoffs manually. Really small gold. I don't know what material are those, but they keep the they keep the motherboard, the back of the motherboard, from touching the metal case, which will short out the things. Actually, in like most cases, they come pre-installed, but here they're not. So you're going to have to figure out which ones. So the gold one. Yeah, the gold ones. Usually yeah. they come with a. Like a specialized hmm. head. So how many? So all of them? Are we gonna uh, use all of just, them? Just take all of them. Then we're just gonna put back the things we're not gonna use. Head. Where? <laughs> you can use that to screw in the standoffs. But! They don't include one! That is so unfortunate, thermal take. Anyway, so you're going to take these, these ones. So you're gonna put these, these uh, standoffs. Like, uh, probably. Uh, get your motherboard. Get your motherboard. Okay. <laughs> this is so fun. Woo! With the box. No, no, not with the box. Just the motherboard. You can hold it by the CPU cooler. So you just put them in by hand, like this. And just screw it. Yeah. Yeah, one here, one here. Okay, another one. One here. This is so thin. So weird. I'm standing now. Wait. <laughs> People okay. are gonna see my fat belly. Uh. Yes. <laughs> if you guys are wondering if I'm fat in real life, yes, I'm very fat in real life. I just use the weird camera angles when I'm sitting at home, so you can you can't see my belly, but sometimes it shows. Most probably in my previous video where Joe takes over the channel. Sorry, I'm looking at the preview. <laughs> ah, you can do it. You can do it, Angie. <laughs> this is going to be a long video, yes. a long ass video. Also, minus points for thermal take for not including one of those uh, standoff posts where you don't have to screw things in. It just holds the motherboard in place. Why? These things are not expensive. You can just add one and even add one while they're in the factory. Anyway, okay. we'll put this back somewhere here. And then I'm gonna put this. This is the IO shield for the back. Oh, you have to be careful with this because these things mm. are kind of sharp. Sharp. Okay. So you have to put it. Let's rotate it here. You're going to have to put it here, but you have to check going which up. side. Yeah. Which side is. Uh, this is the audio side. This this usually goes at the bottom, so it goes like that. Okay. Then, am I yeah. just gonna push it? In? Yeah, you're gonna you're just gonna push it, and it's gonna snap into place. Like this? Yeah. No, so you, you align the edges first. Yeah. Then you just push it. Like it's gonna snap. Want <laughs> <laughs> to take? 4K. I have to remember to keep taking 4K video. Oh, are you sure? Am I doing it the correct way? <laughs> yeah, you're doing the correct way. <laughs> As it popped okay. out, you're going to have to push it <laughs> at the, the same time. Push it, push it in the same time. <laughs> this is frustrating. Okay. Is it done? Is it... <laughs> 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 
Okay, I'm sweating again. Mm. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. oh, it's done. It's okay, done. It's done. It's done. <laughs> Making sure. Okay. <sighs> All right. Oh, we put it in the wrong way. No, it's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> All right. So the next part is you have to prep your hard drives. You have to put your hard drives in. Uh, put it in at the same time, like this. Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh. I have to remember to keep looking at the camera, and not at the yeah. preview. So the way, <laughs> the way the thermal take Versa H15 works is you install sleds on the hard drives so you can put it in the like toolless base here. Oh! So you have to put one of these one of these on each side. When you put the hard drives in, the SATA and the power connector are facing the back of the case. So you have to put in put them in this way. Wait. This is where you pinch them. They're not, they're not screwed in. Oh, so no. you just push them in. I think they're magnetic. Now you have to insert it here. Insert it here. You can move over there so you can see. They can see and you can see <laughs> where, where you're putting the drive. No, actually, I'm just gonna do it like this. Okay. Um. See the sleds here? Yes. They go in here. These, Wait, these is it gonna be this way? No, no. The, the, the other way. way. Yeah. The, uh, the top part? Yeah. Slides in, then it's gonna lock into place. Oh, okay. look at that. <laughs> so, yeah. So, this is the hard drive, but the SSD, as you can see, is very small. It doesn't go in that way because it's too skinny. It goes in this way. Uh, these are these are the screw holes. This this way. Okay. We're gonna use the, this one. Yeah. With one hand, you're going to hold the SSD from this side, and, and then, you're going to insert screws. Uh, <laughs> this uh, this I, into this side. <laughs> no. I'm gonna okay. hold it for you. Okay. So. But, but I think. I'm we're building on the caster's desk for some reason. This is very it's a very small desk. Uh oh. It's not gonna fit. It's in like Flynn again. One of the most annoying things to happen in this part is you let go of the, the little screw. It goes lost somewhere inside the case. You rattle the case. You know it's in there, but you can't see it. So yeah, you have the SSD and the hard drive yeah. installed now. Next, you're going to do is to install your fans. These are the what are these? Omega Nova 120 fans in white. Because every other <laughs> PC in this office is white, I also built those. So yeah, we're going to have three. Two as an intake here at the front, and one as an exhaust here up in the top. Because you already have one fan here at the back. So the first thing you're going to have to do is remove the front. There's a little opening here in the other in the other side. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one. Yeah. Then you pull it. Just pull it. Yeah. You just pull Again. it. Okay. Ah. For the sake of the like, cable management, we're going to remove the uh, CDR tray, the DVD tray. We're going to. We're not going to use that anytime soon because nobody uses DVDs anymore. Like, fuck it. There. <laughs> nobody uses DVDs anymore. Forget it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove it. No. <gasps> oh. <laughs> that's, that's what I was saying. Uh, you, you lose one screw. Just put it here. You lose one screw inside your case and you're going to yeah. rattle it. It's gonna sound like. And you're never gonna find it. There's just a lost screw inside your case. These are the motherboard headers. These. Uh, these control the reset switch, power switch, uh, power LEDs, and the hard drive. 
activity LEDs. These ones control the USB, USB 3. This one is HD audio for the front. And this one is USB 2. Yeah, here and here. Every cable you see here, we're going to route here. Can you see my finger? Oh, uh, yeah. Route here. So, they can, we, we can hide it all in the back. It's a Friday night. We don't have anything better to do. <laughs> yeah. This is actually her first day of work. Yeah. We shot this September 1. Yeah. It's her official first day of work. Next thing we're going to have to do is to install the fans. It's a Friday night, but this is not the last day of work for us. We have work on Saturdays. Yeah. This is so nerve-wracking for me because we're working on a very small table. I think we can take this. This is also the first time I've worked with the Novo 120. I'm very curious to see how it looks because a lot of people have been buying this and I don't I actually see it a lot in the forums. So, okay. All right, we're going to have to install another one and another one. <laughs> you say that? TJ Khaled thing. <laughs> okay. It's easier. Going. I'm going to have to pick those up later. <laughs> this is actually going pretty well. For, for your first time. Really? First time. Really? <laughs> yeah. It's not so bad. This is also the first time I'm going to be producing something like this for my channel. If you, actually, if you guys want to do this with me. With Kevin Evangelista. With Kevin Evangelista. Give me a call or message me at my Facebook. You can find me at facebook.com slash Kevin Evan Evans. That's my page. Don't message my personal account, please. That's my personal account. I have my own page. The last one we're going to put up here and it's going to be an exhaust so cold air is going to come in through here and it's going to come out here and here <laughs> oh you can actually put two more yeah actually put two more but that's <laughs> but i assume that's going to be pretty fucking loud <laughs> <laughs> in the office, this, this is enough. Four fans is enough. Actually, five because you have a CPU cooler oh, yeah. fan. So, yeah, you orient this oh, so the way you on want. This part is gonna go. Yeah. Oh, it's bending again. Also, if you're, you guys are wondering who those people in the back are, that's Jab. That's our boss. And that lovely head is JM's head. Yes. He's the one recording this on the streaming PC. They're playing Gigantic. I'm going to have a giveaway of Gigantic soon. Okay. I'm assuming by the time you're watching this video, the PUBG game giveaway is done. And if it's not, hopefully it's ongoing or probably about to start <laughs> and they're playing gigantic so the next step is to put in the power supply yeah it's a heavy one it's probably the heaviest part of your PC okay. <laughs> I made how such a mess how do you mean it? <laughs> oh this part stupid <laughs> Huh. Warranty guide. That's a lot of wires. Keep it. Important safety information. Throw it away. Power cable. Throw it. Oh no. Don't throw it away. I'm making so much of a mess here. And I'm going <laughs> to clean it up. Maybe next time if I do something like this, I'm going to have to put the preview screen like right Around, beneath yes. <laughs> right beneath the camera but you know this is the setup we have now if you ever watched uh, any of the streams from here 
in the office at Mobile Esports Arena. Uh, you're going to recognize this area as the casters area. <laughs> this displays the uh, logo of the current stream. Well, usually, uh, Mobile Esports Arena related events. Sometimes First Blood and quite recently uh, the Vain Glory qualifiers for the Mesa Invitationals. This is the caster series. <laughs> this is what it looks like when the camera is all zoomed out. It's nothing special but this is where we can shoot because tomorrow we're going to have another stream. Okay. This is where it goes and this is the back of the power supply and this is the front. And it's supposed, and this part is supposed to go here. Okay. So yeah. So power supply is in. That's this a is lot. going to it's take a, a while, so I'm going to go out and have a bit. No. <laughs> oh. Can I also have a break? <laughs> also, for those of you wondering how I talk like, like that in my videos this is how i talk like, without a script yeah oh it's clean now see you can't see anything in the preview you can't see we have everything we need to put in the motherboard finally yeah so what you're going to have to do is you have to put the motherboard like this actually you can hold it by the CPU cooler it doesn't matter <laughs> it's it's on there pretty tight okay. this way in then you have to make these standoffs align with the holes also make the rear IO align with the rear IO shield so yeah good luck mm. I'm gonna shoot it in 4k Take these screws. Oh, see, <laughs> almost drop. Oh no! The oh no! <laughs> <laughs> if you dropped it, you would have been fired on your first day. No, <laughs> that's a joke. Jab has the power to fire people. He has the power! So here comes the most annoying and probably painful part. It's a joke. You're going to have to install front panel connectors. These, this is for the fan. These ones you have to install. You can do it one by one, so probably we're going to start off with the most difficult one, <laughs> because it's a bitch to to install these things. We should have another camera here, so on we top, have, yeah. we have top view. a top-down view. This is one of the funnier things I did, I've ever done oh. to my friends. Um. If it gets too hard, you can just have me do it for you oh, but there. at least you have to try so, so this reset card is gonna be on the front of this one yeah because it's here how will i know if it's on the left or the right side everything is smooth sailing <laughs> this is the worst part of any gun she did it <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you have three more to go. <laughs> no, but these it's ones are bigger. E these ones are easier because they all come in these. Okay. Ah, front panel connector is done. Yay. Are you tired? <laughs> Did I sound unenthusiastic? <laughs> They have a lot more to go. We're not even halfway. No, actually, we're halfway done. Time to plug in power. Power for the motherboard. 
these since this is the power supply and these are the cables coming from the power supply these give power to your components and we're going to have this this is the most important one this is the 24 pin power CPU power these are the two most important ones Oh, I imagine I'm going to do a lot more of these long form style videos especially when more people like come in and say build a PC <laughs> make it interesting okay please make videos with me I'm lonely then the other one CPU power <coughs> damn you Corsair and your very short power supply cables I should have gotten the modular ones. Okay. Yeah, there it is. Too much for this PC. They can see. Hopefully they can see. No, they, they can't see. Yeah, that, that way. Actually, you can just route it through here. How have we not done this? <laughs> <laughs> this build this way? So <laughs> facing the camera before. So yeah. Oh. Did it fit? What? Did you? Should I force it? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, you can so? plug it in now. <laughs> no. no. Okay, let's use it. <laughs> you have to find these. These are the ones for your fans. All of these. Yeah. Here. Yeah, these ones. You have to connect all of these. They they lock together. You just have to coax it a little. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, I just pushed them together. <laughs> I'm oh, putting think... a lot of force. Alright, these fans are weird. I probably <laughs> might probably never use one of these fans again. Might go back to using thermal take things. But these fans are pretty weird. You connect the hard drives next. There, there's a hole right here. There's a hole right really? here. Really? Yeah. And you're going to have to bend it this way to get it in. What? <laughs> what do you mean? It's gonna We're going to have to relocate your, your <laughs> SSD because it's blocking, <laughs> blocking we the way. Move it again. <laughs> we yeah, can move it cool. again. <laughs> This case, so this case is funny. Put this before. <laughs> We're going to have to move it. Ay ay ay. This is a funny case. Thermal take. Oh, I have to catch this because it's gonna fall. It's gonna fall. How are we gonna get power to that? It also lines up here. What? This is. <laughs> you, you, you have. Yeah. This is such a weird case, thermal take. What is happening with this case? We can mount it the wrong way. Really? <laughs> here. But that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. That make, doesn't make any goddamn sense. So, we're just gonna put it uh, probably. Screw, screw it in from the front. Are you sure before we screw it again? I am knocking the A6300 over. <laughs> it's not gonna reach. Okay. This is this is too thick. Hmm. Hmm. Thermal take. Where do you expect me to put my SSD? Oh. I think I know now. Where? I think I know now. So you're supposed to remove this and mount the SSD somewhere in like here. here. In there? Like mm. this. Oh! Okay, that works. <laughs> oh. <laughs> God. Alright, thermal thing. You win. You win this time. So it's gonna be this way? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah.
So you didn't have a problem with this in your PC? <laughs> no. My personal PC at home uses the Fractal Arc Midi, Arc Midi R2. It's an old case, but I like it because it fits a lot of hard drives. And you can also remove the hard drive base. And it has clear mounts for SSDs, not like this, not like this thermal thing. Not like this! <laughs> Probably not gonna change once... Oh, I'm going to have a personal rig update very soon. Probably after the moving block. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna move sometime soon here to Makati because I live in Quezon City now. I'm gonna be living here. And I plan on moving to a bigger place where I can fit like my studio stuff. So I'm gonna take this YouTube shit seriously. So yeah, I'll be moving to a bigger studio soon. Uh, a bigger place. So you don't you guys don't have to keep seeing my bedroom every time every time I make a video. Also after moving vlog I am going to be upgrading my personal rig at home and my old rig will become Joe's rig she's going to purchase that from me I can't give it away because I don't have that much money but <laughs> she's going to be buying my current rig right now I'm going to be building probably a Threadripper build I don't know yet so yeah we're going to have to power we're going to rotate, then, <coughs> then plug in power for the hard drives. Putting it. No. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. You have to install the graphics card, the last one. Okay. The graphics oh. card. The Palette GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. This one. Yeah, that's ah. But if you take it out of the box and immediately drop it. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> it's her graphics card, the 1050 Ti. Now we're gonna put it in. The graphics card goes in here. But you have to remove this, these metal things before because this part is supposed to Going go to out here. here. Oh. Yeah. And so the way you remove these is I'm going to push one out. It, you're going to have to kind of break it. Yeah. You have to push it out. Then it's going to break. You kind of do that. So you do that to the other one because it occupies two slots. So you just push it? Yeah. Okay. Push it and like break it off. You broke it! <laughs> so it takes two slots. And it goes this way into this. this part there. Yeah. Oh, actually, we broke off. What? 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 We broke off the wrong one. <laughs> oh no! Is that okay? No, that's fine. Can we put it back again? <laughs> <laughs> we can put one back in. Thermal take in their infinite wisdom included an extra, oh. <laughs> an extra one. Just in, just in case. <laughs> just in case. Just in case people were dumb enough and we were dumb enough yes. <laughs> to remove the wrong ones. So yeah. So, um, you have to fit it here. Oh. Yeah. No. Yeah, that one. Are you sure? Yeah. It should go here. The gold pins should go here. But it's not gonna. Push. Then you push it in until it locks. <laughs> Again. Are you scared? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, push it in. Ah. <laughs> it's good. Wait. Keep pushing it in. Is that right? Yeah, it's in. Okay. We're gonna put this. <laughs> we're gonna put this here. 
Ay! Ay! <laughs> <Yan> na man. <laughs> it's it's so nerve wracking to see. <laughs> All right. It looks. Okay. Looks good. <laughs> it looks not fucked up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Generally, we're done. I don't know what else we could put in here. I'm checking this area because this is where I throw my shit. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I think we're done. Me. So Get plug it in now. <laughs> you can plug it in now. No, actually, we're going to try and plug it in. Really? Without yeah. putting the cover? Are you confident with the PC that you built? <laughs> I don't know. Let's How just try sure it. are you that if we if we flip the switch on this computer, it's gonna that work? It's gonna work. I think it's going to work. <laughs> Maybe I don't if know. This, <laughs> if this works, this part is going to light up blue, very okay. bright, bright blue. This is gonna light up white, and these are gonna light up white. The two fans. Oh, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna flip the switch. Then you're going to have to press this power button. Oh! <laughs> oh! That's okay. a good sign. Okay. But. Is, it, is this turned on? I don't know. Okay. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, turn it turned on. Alright. Will it post? Are you gonna post? It says no signal. Oh, it posts! Yes! It's just in a cycle. Because it doesn't have an OS yet. Yo, it posts as rock. My main. Oh, jab. Look at this. <laughs> it worked. It works. So yeah. Uh, so there you have it. That's the first video of me building a PC with someone who has no <laughs> experience of building yeah, PCs yeah. before. This is Achi. Achi is our new graphic graphics designer and she's going to be working here at Bren, Bren Pro. Yes. We, uh, we are the organizers of the Mobile Esports Arena tournament, monthly online tournament. And yeah, she's going to be working here. She's going she's gonna to be working on this PC. Yes. Starting tomorrow. tomorrow. I'm going to have to install shit on this PC tomorrow. So yeah, how was how was your <laughs> experience <laughs> building a PC? <laughs> well, I probably won't be doing this again. I'm just gonna hire someone to do it. <laughs> or I'm just gonna ask you to do it. <laughs> just, just gonna ask me to do it. Just like everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's an experience, I guess. Mm. Is it a good experience? Or? I don't know, because I probably won't do it again. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I kind of noticed that you didn't like like forcing yeah, things into sockets. Because it's scary. I might, I'm afraid to break You're afraid it. to break things? Yeah. So yeah. If you want to see more of these kinds of videos, comment down below. Yeah, tell me. Actually, you can just tell me <laughs> straight up what kind of videos you want. I just can't like make videos of expensive things right now because I don't have to money for expensive things but for everything else if you want to see more build videos like this comment down below 
And while you're there, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you want to see more, you can check out my previous video, <laughs> which is about, I don't know. What was your previous video? Uh, my previous <laughs> video is probably about the Canon M10. If it's not the Canon M10, it's about the LG Stylus 3. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. Watching.